Hello, BS. We have got today Dr. Swati Vashni. She is a postdoctoral fellow at All India Institute of uh, Medical Sciences, New Delhi, one of the premium institutions in Delhi. And uh, she has, uh, uh, Dr. Swati, would you like to share about uh, your academic journey? Uh, namaste, sir. Namaste, everyone. First of all, I would like uh, to uh, say that I did my graduation in microbiology from CCS University and also I did my post-graduation in microbiology from CCS University. After that, I did my internship uh, from Sabdajam Hospital and uh, during that time, I was preparing for CSI at Night Chiara. And meanwhile, uh, I was giving some interviews, entrances as well. So I got selected uh, to IIT Delhi and IIT Roorkee, but I uh, chose uh, IIT Delhi uh, for my research where I did my PhD. The topic of my title was the studies of bacterial diversity on fabrics. And uh, it was a, a 6.5 duration of the PhD uh, course time. And as an output, uh, I have eight publications, seven as a first author and uh, one in uh, uh, co-author. And apart from that, uh, I got selected uh, for the Manchurpa Fellowship. I attended various conferences and presented my work there. So that's all uh, in a uh, uh, brief. Thank you, sir. Yeah, your journey from CCS University, which is Chaudhary Charan Singh University in Meerut, to yes, IIT Delhi, yes, sir. and now to Ames. Yes, sir. How do you feel that yes, sir. in different institutions? Yeah, I feel great. And I would like to say that if you have this thing in your mind that uh, people from a lower background or a normal background can't uh, get, cannot get entry into IIT or higher institution. So uh, it's not true. If I can get into that, anyone uh, can get the entry if someone is dedicated and have faith in, uh, in herself or himself. So he can or she can get it. When so, you were at IIT Delhi, you got uh, Raman Chapak Fellowship and visited France. Yes, sir. So, what yes, was sir. your preparation? How did you come to know about it? What was your preparations? Okay, as a, uh, I, uh, I did my PhD from IIT. So, in IIT, uh, the exposure is very good. Uh, and there I got to know about there are various fellowships like Raman Chapak Fellowship, Newton Baba Fellowship, uh, Fulbright Fellowship. So that time the applications were uh, was going on for the Raman Chapak Fellowship. So first uh, I read uh, all the guidelines. Uh, what were the requirements? First you have to prepare the first you have to contact the supervisor in France in which area you want to do the work. The area can be from your PhD or maybe different from that. So uh, first I uh, mailed uh, different different faculties in France so, and uh, then I wait for their response. So after uh, getting uh, connections with them, uh, I prepared my application in which I have to prepare the research proposal, five-page research proposal, NOC from the institute, recommendation letter from the PhD supervisor and the French supervisor, your short three-page CV uh, and your PhD synopsis, like you know the summary of your PhD work and also your research experience and your publication. So the process of the Manchapak Fellowship application is very simple and they have listed various uh, institutes and university. So it's easy to find institute there and you can select your uh, uh, French host based on your research priority. Uh, yes, so I filled the application and I waited for around two to three months. Then the result was declared in the month of October. Now, right now, applications will come in the month of July and the deadline will be uh, September around. Yeah, friends, uh, this Raman Chapa Fellowship is offered to doctoral candidate from India to France and also vice versa. And this is administered by Indo-French Center for Promotion of Advanced Research, also known as CEFIPRA or IFCPR. And uh, as we just learned that uh, applications are normally invited early in the financial year, maybe about July or August, be ready for that. And once results are announced, you have to avail it in the same financial year. So uh, Swati, what was your experience when you were in France? What were their cultural issues? Was there any logistical issues in settling over there? Or how did you do your research in that period? 
so it was a mixed thing i would say um i can say the climate uh, of france or the air quality index or the climate environment is very good i can say the quality of food is very good and also the research quality is very good first you have to be very selective when you are selecting a lab or a french host uh, the things that i faced there uh, was i can say the racism because i am from india when you go into france french people will not treat you very well because uh, matlab for that for them you are an outsider so it is necessary uh, for you to speak french and they don't want to hear english word as well they used to say no we don't uh, you have to speak in french right and so the that, that's the thing i faced there and also the adjustment issue initially because there are uh, people from uh, other other countries different countries living together so people from nigeria people from uh, germany so they have their own cultural uh, foundations they they are very reserved in their culture so during that time i didn't meet any french person there matlab as a french circle but uh, mm-hmm. uh, Uh, obviously yeah in lab and everywhere so they used to treat like that you are an outsider <laughs> that the thing i faced there so it uh, i faced some you know uh, connections there although apart from that uh, it was good i can say everything was good uh, i must say language is a very very integral part and if you yes, are going yes. to any of the european cities it is important that you know the local language because that is how people mingle with you rather easily Swati, can you just yes, tell us, uh, what kind of research you did when you were in France? So uh, I was testing a, a antimicrobial benzyl chloride chloride on vancomycin resistant Enterococcus and the methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus that is MRSC on hospital textile. So basically, our criteria is to coat uh, that antimicrobial on the fabric so that we can. Um, uh prevent or limit uh, nosocomial infection in healthcare setting so our target was that and i did that research uh, for a period of around, around uh, 6 to 7 months there so uh, my experience was good there in uh, in a french lab there because their resources are very good so and how did it help you in completion of your phd and also in your future uh, career is there any impact of this fellowship yes definitely uh, it was very impactful and i got to know various tools and techniques uh, I, uh, which you uh, i was not aware before going to france so i implemented those things and the work culture and the mindset and the management things uh, into my research after coming back from the france and what was your second question sir i forgot sorry now how did it affect your future plan your personal professional uh, future journey future journey uh, because in your cv uh, there will be a tag that you, you you know roman chapak fellowship is a very prestigious fellowship it is you know uh, our cv roman uh, it was based on that cv roman and uh, george chapak uh, based uh, collaboration so it is a very impactful uh, fellowship and uh, when when you do any uh, in uh, research in any international country or uh, indo uh, french or any international collaboration so uh, there is a improvement in your personality your professional behavior your academic recognition you get to know about different different cultures so there is a overall personality improvement i can say and also the confidence okay, that from meerut and from a very small city bulenshire to uh, that france and there you can travel different different countries as well uh, and there will be matlab you will feel a lot of things and confidence in yourself uh, which you cannot uh, get anywhere what are you currently working on when you are in aims as a post doctoral fellow yeah uh, okay i would like to say that i am working on a uh, uh, tuberculosis vaccine uh, clinical trials so here we are giving a uh, vaccine liposomal based vaccine a uh, routine vaccine to uh, tb patients and there are two cohort in that when we do a uh, clinical trial so we have some control uh, population and the treated population so in treated population we are treating drug sensitive tb patient and uh, drug resistant tb patient 
so we are uh, uh, in the intervention we are giving them a vaccine and then calling them uh, for uh, different different visits and checking their immuno profile so we are basically checking the efficiency and the efficacy of that particular vaccine if it is effective that then we can implement in our india so that uh, people who has tb or affected with tb can matlab it, we can eradicate tb in india through aids that that's our main it's target mission and because it's uh, thank you sir is uh, known as a poor man's disease so uh, most of the western country are not working on it india has to take lead so good wishes to your team uh, on that account uh, thank you sir thank you sir question uh, what would be your advice to the future aspirants uh, i would say that you should uh, try for different different international fellowship not uh, uh, don't limit yourself only to a particular or only one fellowship you should try for the uh, raman chapak fellowship newton baba fellowship commonwealth fellowship uh, fulbright fellowship during your doctoral uh, uh, tenure uh, because uh, you will get a lot of exposure uh, from different different countries and it will give you a confidence it will boost your academia things and uh, uh, and learning all uh, these things from different different country you can implement uh, that into india if you have the plan to come to india and you can uh, contribute to in india and their growth in in terms of research quality industry and whatever your research topic is thank you swati friends i would like to say that there are thank you so much sir uh, for uh, overseas visit during the doctoral program dr swati has mentioned about few of them but then there are many others being offered by several departments of the government of india so you could explore and what she has insisted that uh, it provides you an exposure uh, to learn something new in a alien environment which helps you in growth of overall personality and also you could work for bigger goals in your life to come and good wishes to you swati for your tuberculosis program thank you so much thank sir thank you very much and uh, looking forward thank you sir